it's getting hot. Yo, but summertime, the way that I feel, I wish these sunny days would never, never die. Maybe we could talk, speak low upon the sunny weather. Who knows, love? I guess not. You know, whatever. When the feather gets to sing, your daddy's bitch, and you know that. Your daddy's so good looking that she's twisting my head back. But realize that you're the only one on my mind. I really hope that you'll be here by the end of the summertime. Yeah. All right, Bellevue East in the house. <laughs> yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. 
so nice. All right, my name is Jeremy Fox, and you can call me Jeremy. Uh, I recognize a couple of you guys from the past. Um, it's nice to see you. It's nice to hear you, more importantly. Um, awesome, 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 awesome. You all always do such fine work. I am so, uh, I just think so highly of your director, as I, I know you probably do as well. Um, uh, so, boy, let's start with, let's go reverse order. Uh, summertime, uh, I love this piece. I just realized about halfway through, I recognize this piano part, and I, the reason is, is because I wrote this piano part <laughs> for, for, for Alfred's music <laughs> publication. I was like, ah, oh, that's really weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a really odd thing to, to r realize. Uh, so anyhow, that's neat. Th that really doesn't help you guys at all. <laughs> um, uh, the uh, the one thing, you know, if you're not using microphones, you almost, to a certain extent, kind of want the audience to lean in a little bit. Um, so that's the w the first thought I had when you were singing was, hmm, I wonder if they're over singing. Because I often hear that when groups aren't on microphone, they feel like they need to project their sound out there. And all of a sudden, stylistically, for this type of music, that doesn't work so well to be like, to be projecting. Because so actually, my biggest su one of my bigger suggestions to you all is to, to stop worrying about, and if that means that you actually get to the front of the stage and sing, maybe in an arc closer to the front, I think that's a great thing. Um, but definitely, the, the one danger is, I think, to oversing this stuff. Because stylistically, that's not, if you listen to vocal jazz groups from like the 1930s or 40s up till nowadays, they're very relaxed tone, and they don't really ever, it never sounds like, or very rarely sounds like it's pushed forward. Um, like they're trying too hard to sing loudly. Does that make sense? Um, so I would I would say ooh you guys maybe draw the audience forward especially on a song like what'll I do when it's just such an intimate message um, and there are times when I'm hearing parts of the group pop out a little bit and and certainly individual singers there are really a few of you guys have really big voices so and there's I I mean more power to you <laughs> if you do that's awesome I I notice especially one or two tenors, whoever the tenors are, have some, some like huge voices. And that's an awesome thing. But now, you know, uh, to try and kind of keep the attack. Because what's always the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen? What is the blend? The blend. Uh-huh, absolutely. And um, if I were going to say what part of the music is most important, what does the audience really need to hear? They need to hear what? Harmony? Actually, hmm. Melody. No, it's uh, probably the opposite. Probably melody. In fact, the audience will never, they will never complain if there's a little too much melody. But if the harmony is overtaking the melody, then all of a sudden, you know, the harmony is kind of where the cool stuff happens, right? I mean, I always thought so, like, as a guy. Like, I would, I would look at my part and say, oh, that's such a cool part. Like, it has this really weird, you know, awesome little thing going on here. And so there's a tendency to think, ah, oh, I'm the most important thing here, especially if you're a guy. We tend to think that anyway, guys. We're the most important, th and you know what's the most important thing? Not you. It's, it's that, it's especially the soprano, they tend to have that melody on top, right? So, um, uh, that's a general comment I'm giving you guys like a, big picture thing. But I think I heard that on all three pieces. We could especially hit that on what'll I do in a second here. But let's talk summertime, um, really quickly. Uh, lovely job, who's the soloist on this? Lovely job, really great. Um, the the back part of this piece actually he didn't Derek didn't write the solo in, 
Um, it should start after uh, 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 and take to the sky. It should be, there should be a solo part in there that's not written in there. So they'll have to figure that out. It starts on the words and take to the sky after and you'll spread your wings. And then we have the ah, 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 from the ladies. And then the soloist would sing, and you'll take to the sky. Uh, but until that morning, there ain't nothing goes to harm you. So that'll be all the soloists there. I think Derek probably should have written that in uh, instead of just he casually mentions it in there. Um, so we, we kind of need that. Um, it might help you guys, maybe, because I noticed Dr. B in front of you kind of giving you tempo and groove and stuff. You know, does anybody beatbox in here? Maybe a little bit. It might be worth at least experimenting with um, because I in a microphone that might be a cool thing. Can we hear this from the beginning with a little beatboxing just for fun? I'll, I'll do it for now and, and maybe I'll pass it off to you in the middle. How about right from the backgrounds? Right where you guys come in on ooze? Three and. Let's go on for now. Great. So maybe, maybe that might help. Um, or maybe Dr. B could beatbox for you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, that might, because basically we're trying to feel this groove. It's hard to get that, the whole band, although you're doing a great job on the piano part, it's hard to get the whole band feel um, uh, without, without that extra rhythm. I love that you guys are moving. That's a great thing. A um, couple of quick, 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 quick things. Uh, you probably want to sing cotton instead of cotton. Cotton is very proper, and th that's generally not what we go for with vocal jazz. We want to say it, sing it the way that we would say it. So cotton, say cotton. 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 And the cotton's so high. Cotton. Right. Also, at the end of some of these words, uh, I mentioned this on uh, what'll I do as well. But we have uh, things called diphthongs. You know what those are? So, hi, say hi. 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 So there's a, there's a turning of the diphthong. Because normally we stay on the vowel, right? Hi. You can really emphasize, we're getting a lot of, eh, and the cotton's so high. Hi. If you really, you're allowed to turn the diphthong a little bit more than you're doing right now. So, um, uh, just sing hi, hi on that, on that syllable, on that pitch. Ready, together. Hi. Yeah? Emphasize even more. Hi. Lots of E. Hi. Ooh, love it. Again. We're often afraid of diphthongs, and I don't know why. I love the second part of a diphthong. Sounds so awesome. The audience is going to feel like loved every time you get to the E. Hi. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's so much better than ha. And the cotton's so ha. <laughs> um, great, great, great. Um, let's... Uh, let's go tour to uh, what'll I do? I think. No, I, 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 I'm just kidding. Let, let's start. Let's go to come in and stay a while. Your group sound is so great, you all. I mean, I really think that that balance and blend thing 
is just huge for you. We lose the melody at times. So let's, let's just do a little bit of uh, come in and stay a while and see if we can get two things. I want to make sure that we're always hearing the melody. Sopranos, why don't you come out here and face the rest of the group? Turn around 100, uh-huh. So these are the most important people, and Sopranos are like, that's right, we are. Uh, but let's see if you guys can hear their melody part over your melody parts. This is really tough. What I'm asking you to do is not to listen to yourself sing, to listen to everything else and make sure that the melody's there. Can we try this from the beginning? Yes, you guys are, this is already better. This is already better. So all of a sudden, the individual voices aren't popping out quite as much. You're paying more attention to the, to the melody. This is, that's everything to the audience. Whether or not they can hear these five ladies is everything. Um, uh, s what's the first line of this? Stop and stay a, come in and stay a while. Can you just sing that first phrase and then we'll be done with this clinic? Because it ends with a what? Okay, really emphasize the diphthong. Last thing we do today. While. Woohoo! Thank you. Guys, so we're talking balance, we're talking blend, and we're talking diphthongs. You guys, good work. We did a lot in, a, in about 10 minutes. Thank you, Bellevue East. Thank you, Dr. B. Thank you so much. Way to go.